Hi guys, welcome back to Goodbye Greens. Today we are going to be making strawberry mango popsicles. Uh, now this is recipe number one of Cold Treats Month. Uh, that is what I have uh, deemed July. Uh, the reason for that is because, as you know, most places in the United States around this time of year are starting to get pretty warm. Uh, so a nice cold treat uh, at the end of the day or in the mid-afternoon after you've come in from you know playing outside or going on a bike ride or hiking or something like that uh, it's kind of nice to have a little bit of a cold treat ready for you in the freezer uh, so these strawberry mango popsicles are unbelievably easy uh, they taste great there's no added sugar you're just getting the sweetness uh, the natural sweetness from the strawberries in the mango uh, so you have coconut milk, um, this is the creamy kind of component, and then you have uh, some frozen strawberries and some frozen mango. Now I've separated these out and I'll explain why in a second. And then um, I'm sure you could do this with like ramekins and like if you line a ramekin with uh, some plastic wrap and then use you know like wooden actual wooden popsicle sticks, I'm sure it would work. Um, but I have one of these little popsicle molds. Um, they're pretty small. They don't hold a ton of actual popsicle, I don't think you call it batter, but popsicle mix, um, I guess. And you have these little stick things that have like a catcher part to it so that um, you're not getting, uh, you know, sh well, most people would be getting, you know, giant sugary gloop whatever stuff all over them. Us, it's so that you don't get, you know, mango all over you or something like that. It kind of has a little valley that holds any liquid. If your kids or somebody like that don't eat these quick enough. Um, so these just literally pop right onto the mold and then you stick this into the freezer. Now, the reason why I've separated out the mango um, from the strawberry is I actually um, blend each of these uh, separately in the blender and then I kind of layer them so that you get kind of a cool design and you get, you know, maybe a bite of the strawberry and then a bite of the mango or a bite of both of them together. Um, you certainly can blend them together. Um, maybe you won't get a, quite as cool of a, you know, look to them, but they're going to still taste um, fantastic. So this is definitely a recipe you can play around with. Um, if there's other types of fruits that you prefer other than strawberries or mangoes, you can definitely use those too. Um, this is a perfect summer recipe to do with your kids as well. Um, you know, kind of showing them how to make them and then, you know, once they're uh, frozen solid to, you know, give them a popsicle and, you know, they can feel like they had a part of this recipe. So let's grab the blender. Alright, so I've already blended up our strawberry layer. Um, so now I'm going to show you what to do with the mango layer. It's the exact same process into the blender. It's the same amount of fruit, the same amount of coconut milk, everything like that. So this is a strawberry one I just poured into a measuring cup. It's best to have something that has a spout on the end of it uh, when uh, we're going to pour these into the popsicle mold. So I'll just set this aside. So I just rinsed out the blender. I certainly didn't scrub and clean it. It's just fruit going back into it. So we have our mango and our coconut milk that I've measured out. Definitely want to make sure you get all of that. And then you're just going to put your blender on and make sure it's on nice and tight. And you are just going to blend it um, for about 30 to 60 seconds, depending on your blender. You just want to make uh, sure that it's a uh, consistent, creamy texture. can take off your lid and take this off. Let me move the blender out of the way. Okay, so push back my popsicle things. So we have um, the popsicle molds that I have have four um, different um, popsicle 
popsicles. <laughs> um, you can definitely, I actually got this at, I think it was Bed Bath & Beyond and I brought a 20% off coupon and pretty sure these came out to less than $5 a piece uh, with the coupon. And so as long as you use them a, f a few times, um, not only is it going to be healthier for your family than the popsicles that you buy in the store that are full of um, sugar and chemicals and food coloring, um, but it's probably also going to be cheaper. So um, you can do all sorts of different things. I'll try a couple different ways. Um, sometimes I make uh, ones that are all mango or all strawberry. Um, other times I kind of just do half of a, of a strawberry and half mango. Uh, and then other ones I'll do maybe like where it shows four layers. So I'll try a couple different combinations. Uh, feel free to do whichever one uh, you prefer. Okay, we'll start with our strawberry first. Now I just have one of these tiny little spoons um, that can kind of help guide me. Uh, so you just want to carefully pour into the bottom of the mold. So for that first one, I'm going to do half mango and half strawberry. This one I'm going to try and do four layers. We'll see how that works. And then I'm going to do one all strawberry. And then I'll do one all mango. Now I know for these popsicle molds, um, you don't, you want to fill them. Actually, maybe let me take a little bit out of here. You want to fill them to about a third to a half of an inch from the top because when you put in the popsicle mold, um, the, just this tiny little bit of space is going to cause it to rise. Um, you can definitely fill it though pretty close to the top. It doesn't need to be like halfway down or anything because whatever um, kind of starts to come up, it's just going to fit into this bottom part of the mold. So now we have our mango one. Let me kind of shake this around. And you can use, if you want, you can use the same spoon or you can use a different spoon. I'm just going to use the same one. And so for our first one, let me actually move this out of the way so you can see it. For the first one, I was doing half and half. The next one, I'm just going to do a little bit and try to do four layers. And then the last one, I'm going to do all mango. And it's overflowing. Okay, well, this is not going to be edited out. Let me grab a napkin. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm just finishing this last one that we did the four layers on. So let me actually see if you guys can see this. Um, so this is the full uh, mango, the full strawberry. This one is four different layers. I don't know that you can see the mango layer at the top because there's just a tiny little bit. And then this one is half and half. So at this point, we're going to put our popsicle sticks in. These things are pretty easy. You just literally push them right over the top like this. And now we are going to throw these into the freezer. Well, not throw them, place them into the freezer. Um, now, it depends on your freezer. It depends on the size of your popsicle mold. I usually leave them in there at least for a few hours. Um, if I know that we're going to be doing some type of outdoor activity or we're going to be having some friends over or something for a barbecue and we want to have popsicles or something like this at the end of the night, um, I'll usually just make them in the morning and they're definitely ready by mid-afternoon or evening. So we're going to pop these into the freezer and we will be back when they're frozen. Okay, so it's been about four to five hours. I just took my popsicles out of the freezer. Um, so now what I do or what I think the easiest thing to do is, is to take each popsicle out individually right before you're going to serve it. Uh, so I actually have a measuring cup that I put some water into the microwave for about a minute and a half to two minutes. You don't want it to be boiling, but you definitely want it very, very warm. And what I do is I take, I usually do one at a time, you just kind of lower the popsicle um, uh, mold one by one into the warm water. You kind of just let it sit there for about 30 seconds. Usually after that, I will pull it out and try to see if I can easily pull the popsicle mold out. If not, I'll do it for another 30 seconds. You don't want to leave it in there so long that it begins to start really thawing out. You just want to slightly loosen it from the mold. So kind of shake that. 
what I do is I hold on to the other three and I kind of wiggle, begin to wiggle this. If it doesn't feel like it's going to come out right away, which this one doesn't, I'll try another 30 or so seconds. So just pop this in. We can try it again, hold these other three and begin to wiggle. Now it's definitely getting a lot looser. So be careful because right when it releases, it will release. So as you can see, this is the uh, one that I did half uh, strawberry and half mango. Uh, it's perfect, um, pretty, you know, light pink and uh, pale yellow colors. Um, I know if you probably have daughters, they would be you know, in love with these colors. Um, boys, maybe as well. So, is what I do, if I'm going to be serving all of these, once I release it, I will put it back in, just not, I won't press it all the way down. I don't know if you can see this, but all of these ones are completely flush. This one's just kinda hanging out here. So, if I'm going to be serving all of these, I will do each next one individually, and then you can kinda just serve them all at the same time. So I hope you guys will give these a shot this July. Uh, your kids will love you. Um, these are actually one of my husband's favorite kind of sweet treats. Um, I, they certainly are treats because they are using probably some of the fruit that are the more sugary types of fruit and your whole goal is to use them, um, you know, use fruits that, especially when they're frozen, they're usually uh, picked at the peak of, you know, ripeness and, um, you know, have the most developed sugar. So these are going to taste sweet, but they really, I mean, I personally don't worry about eating these. Um, it's all natural, you know, fruit and stuff. You're not even adding honey or anything like that. So these really are uh, a perfect summer evening treat to sit out in your backyard and just relax with your family. Uh, so give these a shot and I will see you guys next week. Bye.